Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, and this is for uh, the next seven days or whenever it resonates. I had some cards fall out. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. Um, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, next seven days. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. These two cards fell out. First one was 999. Nines are about closure. Okay, when you get nines, you're almost at the end of a cycle. Next one is 10, which is completion. So this is about closure, close to the end of a situation, right? It's time for closure. It's a sign to move on. Okay, so it is a sign to move on when you see 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Um, we also had karma fall out. So there's some sort of rebalancing of the scales that is happening. Um, you're probably closing a karmic cycle in your life. And, and I know you don't want to hear this. I do this all the time, don't I? Um, but when, before I turned on the camera, uh, I heard one wrong move and it's over. Now, I don't know what that means for you, um, but that's what I heard. So what do we have? What do we have? We're going to do past, present, and future. Um, I think this is the end of a karmic cycle for you. I really do. I feel like there's some sort of justice that is being served. Um, now, karma has two sides. There's a winner and a loser to every situation of the justice system, right? There's a defendant and a plaintiff. Somebody wins and somebody loses, and that's the way it goes. It's all, it's all uh, dependent on your actions. So anyway, there is some sort of justice that is being served, and it's going to bring some sort of closure to a situation. So that's what we have, what we have for cancer. My nose is itching. What do we have for cancer? Ooh. I'm not sure if we have somebody here that's not learning from their mistakes. I just saw the world reversed. That's not learning from mistake, mistakes, flogging a dead horse, repeating negative patterns. Uh, not learning, not learning a lesson. So I'm not sure what is going on, but I feel like... There's a cycle that is coming to an end, but you may be reluctant to let it end. Or somebody hasn't learned their lesson and they're about to be held accountable. Anyway, past, present, and future. Past, present, and future. Past. Hang me in reversed. There's some sort of punishment here. Three, three of cups could have to do with a, three, a third party situation. Eight of wands reversed. Present, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. We definitely have a couple of different people here in the Three of Swords. So presently, there's some heartache. There's grieving. There is a judgment that is being made. There is a judgment that is being made presently. Uh, King of Swords in the future. Star. Reversed. In the future. And the lovers reversed. Woo! And your person. Let's talk about your person. Either somebody that's coming into your life or the person that you're questioning, you know. However it resonates with you. Let's talk about your person. Hierophant. Somebody that you're dealing with has a direct connection to God. Could be a Taurus. This is somebody. This could be a healer, a channeler, a teacher. Two of Swords. Empress. You could certainly you may be dealing with a Taurus. You have Taurus a couple times. Um, mother, father. King of Cups reversed. What you don't see coming is the Knight of Swords reversed. This is I don't know if there's some sort of attack here. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But the Knight of Swords reverse is out of control. It's anger. It's clueless. It's rude. It's it's uh, abusive. Ignorant. We have an ignorant know-it-all that may be coming towards you. 
uh, or you may be out of control. This is an out of control energy. Um, I'm not sure if there's somebody here that has some mental health issues or they're very, very, very angry. They're upset. Could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you have every sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have everybody here. Um, I think that presently there's a, there's a, we have somebody here that is hiding something. Well, in the past, this is in the past, the hangman reverse. That's somebody that is highly egotistical, that is refusing to change, that will never change, that involves themselves in third party situations or parties a lot, socializes, um, isn't willing to change, uh, blocks communication, doesn't tell the truth. There's somebody here in the past that is going, is, I feel like there's some sort of punishment here for cheating. There's partying. There's partying. There's, there's socializing. There's getting together. There's refusing to change. We have somebody here that is, is, is uh, it's almost like guilty. There's guilt here. Somebody is guilty of... I don't know what it is in the past. Cheating, a third party situation or, there, or, or something like that. This is somebody that is highly egotistical. That is, uh, it's like they're going to be stopped. Bad news, bad news, eight of wands reverse. You may have, somebody may have overdone it. They may have went over door, overboard. And they've and they're and they're punished. They're being punished for going overboard. This is somebody who refused to change. They refused to budge. Now now they're receiving some sort of karma. So I'm not sure if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. We have Pisces, strong Pisces energy here. Struggling, uh, struggling to let go of a third party. You know, struggling to stop communicating. Struggling. So I don't know who that is for, but I do feel like we have somebody here that is extremely egotistical that is about to be stopped. It's like there's, they're going to be stopped. It feels like they're going to be stopped in their tracks. I mean, I hate, I mean, it is what it is. I think that presently you are determined. I feel like you are determined. You are determined to get the truth or somebody is. You could be dealing with somebody that is determined to get the truth and they they question you. We have a very intelligent individual here who is going to be asking a lot of questions. Could be a lawyer, could be a counselor, it could be somebody that is in a leadership position, that is in a position of authority, that is taking action. They're heartbroken or there's some sort of pain here we are in suffering which causes this person to take action. We definitely have somebody here that has some sort of information that they are going to be speaking. This is going to happen very, very soon. This person is determined to get to the bottom of this and they're going to be asking a lot of questions and this karma whatever it is has to do with breaking somebody's heart not caring not caring about the consequences and I feel like there's consequences that are coming whether they're coming for you or they're coming for the other person like I said there's two sides to the justice system like when you're in court, whether you're in universal court you're, or you're in the court of law, you know, there's two sides. There's a winner and a loser here. So there is some sort of judgment that is being passed this week. I also feel like there is some, there's a new, somebody's about to gain a new perspective. There's some sort of truth, the raw truth that is about to come out. This truth hurts. So there's some sort of truth. There may be another woman here that has been hidden. If you, And I don't know how that resonates with you. That could be the truth that is coming out. There's definitely some truth that is coming out and it's going to be, it's heartbreaking information with that three of swords. Whoever you are dealing with is, uh, going through a period of growth. They are divinely guided. They have some sort of connection to a higher power. They may have, they may be blocking you. I'm not sure if you've been blocked or they're going to be blocking you. There's something about a mother here who has been hiding something, a mother or a father that has been hiding something. It's going to be revealed this week. 
which is interesting. Whoever you're dealing with is uh, being guided to not communicate or being guided to withdraw. You know, there's, there's like withdrawing, withdrawing emotionally, focusing on self, focusing on self-love, taking self-nurturing. I feel like we have somebody here that you are dealing with that is loving themselves, that is taking care of themselves, and they're withdrawing. They are really withdrawing. Whoever your person is, has a divine connection, whoever you're, well, well, whoever this person is that you're questioning, this person has a divine connection, they may be in a committed commitment, they may be focusing on their spirituality, blocking others, you know, just focusing on self-love, taking time to uh, nurture themselves. There is somebody that you are asking about that is not interested in, in reciprocating because they're focusing on themselves. They're focusing on self-love. They're going through a period of rebirth. Whoever you're dealing with may be blocking you. Maybe they're, they're protecting themselves. There's definitely some sort of protection here. I feel like this person may, I don't know if you... Uh, I don't know if you blocked this person or if they blocked you, but whoever, there's a blockage here. This person is focusing on themselves, whoever you're questioning or whoever it is that you are asking about. They are focusing on their spirituality. They're focused on their self-growth. They're, they're committing themselves to themselves. They're not interested in, you know, giving romantically to a relationship. That's what I see. That's in your person's section. And I feel like in your future, I don't know if you have a separation here. We have the King of Swords, the Star Reversed, and the Lovers Reversed. That is a separation. It is a detachment from something that, I don't know if it was a nightmare. I don't know if you got yourself into something that you may have hoped and wished that this was the one. But this is realizing that this isn't the one. The King of Swords, okay, that's a realization of the truth. This is not wish fulfillment and separating, you know, is separating from a partnership that is not compatible, okay? Why is this happening? This is a separation that is happening because it's the right thing to do. You know, if, it, if there's no compatibility, then you need to uh, own up to the truth. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is, is going to be uh, accepting the truth, telling the truth that this, you know, and maybe we have a breakup here. This is a nightmare wishing, you know, I wish I never would have got involved with this. And I feel like that's where you're going to be. It's like I wish because I feel like there's somebody here that is going to be saying something that uh, hurts. I feel like it's painful and it could bring some consequences with the hangman reversed and the karma card. There's consequences for actions. I feel like, and I don't know if you've acted or somebody that you're dealing with has acted without conscience. And I feel like there's some sort of, you know, heartache here that is bringing some sort of karma this week. I'm just being honest. King of Swords, and this is honesty. It's complete honesty. It's the whole truth. I mean, this right here, right now, is the truth comes out and the truth hurts. So there is an, a new, somebody's about to receive a new perspective that they don't see coming. I don't think they see it coming. And I, and I feel like this, per, and I feel like, I feel like you, you may feel like, you know, you're in a very strong position, but I feel like there is somebody that you're not realizing that is going to say something that is going to, hurt i think that i wonder if there's some sort of investigation going on i feel like there's an investigation going on and somebody has been uh waiting for the moment to reveal and they're about to reveal it um a decision is being made because this is not wish fulfillment there's no, this is poor health it's ill health there's going to be a separation in the future separating and this is heartbreaking and I feel like it's because you know there's a higher power that is protecting somebody there is somebody here that does not have good intentions we also may have a mother that has been protecting a father or a father that has been protecting a mother 
there and there's some sort of truth that is that is gonna be coming out. May have something to do with a child. Somebody's definitely been. It could be an illiter, illiter, uh, What do you call that? You know, a child that has been hidden. Anyhow, there's something that has been hidden that is about to be revealed. There could also be abuse here. If there has been some hidden abuse, you know, uh, that's gonna be revealed. Somebody could even find themselves in court. They could find themselves in court for lying. I don't know if there's been some sort of lies here. I don't know if there's been, you know, somebody that's gone overboard, you know, with a third party or with drugs or alcohol and they were able to hide the truth and the truth gets revealed this week and it causes a, a, a closure of some sort. Somebody may be committed, they may be, be committed, I don't know, to an institution. I mean, I'm just being honest here. King of Swords in the future, that is a decision that is being made based on the facts. Oh my God, why is this happening? This is a separation, this is a detachment. It's a detachment. This is not healthy. It's not healthy. So there's going to be a detachment, a detachment from somebody. And it, I don't know if it has to do with a mother, father, child, something like that. There's definitely another person here, like a third party, and it doesn't have to be sexual. There is somebody here that has some sort of information, and they're going to be getting involved to reveal the truth, which causes this justice to be served, okay? detaching from a partnership that you wished you never would have got involved with. You're going to be receiving some challenging information. This information is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. I, it is. I mean, this, this, this hurts. It just cuts. It cuts. It's painful. I wonder if there's been some sort of love triangle here. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like there's a. This is like a breakdown, and there. And you may need to talk to somebody. You know, you may need time to go talk to somebody when you receive this information. This is like a time of painful growth, and you. I do believe that you're going through a period of growth. I do. What you don't see coming is this Knight of Swords reverse. This is out of control. You can't stop it from happening. This is somebody that has some sort of information and they are on a mission to reveal it. They are. There could be somebody here that is looking for a fight. You know, the Knight of Swords reverse is somebody that may be looking for a fight. And they don't care if they hurt you. They just, they care about getting to the bottom of this. Four of Swords, your challenge. Four of Swords, extremely exhausted, fed up, sick, poor health. This is, this is uh, a need to heal. Somebody may need rehab, they may end up in the hospital, they need to heal, they need to take a time out. It's sick. Fool reversed, foolish behavior. Somebody has is, is, is made a poor judgment call. And this is headed for a fall. Somebody has made a poor judgment call and they are about to fall. They are, this is a fall from power. It's a fall from grace. It's falling flat on their face. This is, this is naive. It's, it's a stupid. It's made a stupid judgment call. There's some sort of unfinished business here. 
you fool and, and maybe the person you're dealing with we have a fool here you're you know that that was so foolish that wasn't very smart somebody made a foolish move and and now there's heartbreak that has been caused from it They did something without thinking, and there's some sort of consequences. Could be dealing with the Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus a couple times, Libra. <coughs> there's definitely some justice that is about to be served this week. Somebody has been hiding something, and they've been getting away with it. If they have, if they, they aren't going to get away with it much longer. With the Eight of Wands reverse next to that hangman, hey, it's like there's nothing to prove, you know. I don't, I'm not, I can do whatever I want. Somebody has has been hiding some sort of information. Maybe it's texts or messages, and those messages get revealed, and it changes the outcome. It changes the verdict. Whoever you are dealing with is suffering. They are protected and they are going through a period of growth. And they will be protected by a higher power. Whoever you are dealing with is going through a period of incubation, okay? They're going through a rebirth. And maybe you came into their life to teach them that. To teach them their value because the Empress is the queen of value. I mean, she's the queen of all queens, but she is, she's value. She, she knows her value. She knows her worth, but she learns it through pain. And this is your person. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, no, that's me. That's in your person's section. I feel like you, I feel like you are gaining strength, you're gaining courage, you're gaining uh, discipline, you're learning some, but you haven't learned it yet because I saw the world reverse. You're gaining your uh, ability to accept and allow things through heartache. You know, the fool takes the journey and you know about halfway from the beginning you know from the journey he has to make mistakes to learn to become stronger and I feel like you've made a foolish move and that's in your position you've made a foolish mistake that has caused a lot of pain and now I feel like there's consequences for that you may be delivering somebody some truth that hurts. You could be. You could be delivering somebody some truth hurts. You could. Somebody is. That's for darn sure. Somebody has made a poor judgment call and they are about to be judged for hurting another person and not caring about the consequences. There's punishment here. There is. There's a higher power that is watching. And I feel like they're protecting this beautiful person. I mean, I suppose that could be you. But the King of Cups in reverse is somebody that doesn't have good intentions, you know? That is emotionally withdrawn, that do doesn't give love freely. Going through a period, your person is going through a period of growth and they're blocking the hate, they're blocking the 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 pain you know they're healing so you're dealing with somebody that is healing through spirituality and they're not interested in 
I don't know, maybe they're not interested in a commitment or they're not interested in falling in love because they're working on themselves. I really feel like you're dealing with somebody that is working on themselves. And I feel like you're detaching from a contract. I feel like, and I feel like, and if you're not, they are. Somebody is making a decision to separate from a partnership that is not, it's not a healing situation. There's no healing this. It's, it's not, it's not a healing love. It's, it's not healing. You know, it's, it, it isn't. Why is this happening? Because it's not meant to be. Receiving the truth, it's not meant to be. So I feel like some of you may be traveling, okay? You may be traveling, you may be expanding yourself, you may be um, choosing to move in a new direction. I feel like there's been some sort of indecisiveness because maybe you've been uh, in denial, in denial of the truth, but I feel like there's some sort of information that is going to come out that is going to... Um, give you the strength that you need to take that leap of faith into unknown territory and I do believe you're going to be going into unknown territory I do I think you're very scared to go into unknown territory but I think you are going to go into unknown territory anyhow Your person that you are questioning is blocking their emotions because they're focusing on themselves. They are committed to their spirituality and they're committed to their self-love. By the end of the week, I feel like there could be, you know, a separation. I don't know if it has to do with mother, father, child, partner, ex. Definitely a contract that is coming to an end. Because of some sort of information that comes out in this hurts and maybe this is going to spark your growth it's going to this is like reaching for the light this is going to bring it's, it's going to bring you some so you're about to be enlightened in some way good luck